Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the very, very much good thing. That was a bad intro. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Command Guesser. Today I have levitation in Minecraft, so let's demonstrate this well to be more specific levitation tubes. So what do I mean like by that? Well, when you build the following structure, let's go Android, 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 purple, 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 and there's something below it, then it will be levitated upwards, as you can see, just like that. So it's not level with it, but below it, and that's for a very good reason, it's just so it can be easy to do this. So let's place a zombie down here, press this button, and you can see it gets levitated until it cannot be levitated anymore. Now, this one command contraption, ignore that, that's something else. This one right here is what you're going to be guessing. Hint, it's a very, very long command. Um, but the cool thing about it is that even though it's a very, very short, easy command, just one command, it can do a whole bunch of stuff. Like, I just executed that zombie completely. It's so much better than water tubes. They take ages and they're not, they're not that great. They're not... Water isn't made to levitate mobs, so this is a very, very good way of doing that. So let's, oh yeah, we gotta reactivate it. So now, if I place a zombie here, activate the button, won't go up because the structure has been obstructed. And of course, this works for entities as well, which is why it is better than just using a water tunnel. Let's have an egg here and turn it on. And as you can see, it goes all the way to the top where it can be collected, hopefully, by a hopper my minecart if you set it up correctly. I actually haven't tested that yet, that'll be fun. Can we get a hopper minecart to collect it? Maybe. We'll see. Um, man, how cool would that be though? <laughs> of course, it levitates hopper minecarts as well. Didn't think about that. Yeah, it can be any entity except the player. Uh, which is which is okay. That's why the second command is um, comes in handy. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. So this second command, which is active right now, does not work with entities, as you can see right here. It doesn't work, but it does work with players. Let's do this, and up we go. We get a levitation three effect, and it's just enough to get us over the edge here. So, that is my command for now, my two commands. This is actually going to be in the custom command mod pack um, because it's such a cool little lag-free um, invention. It only takes two command blocks when you put them both together, which is great. So this command guesser is going to work a little bit differently, firstly because there's two commands, but the hint that I'm going to give is that you don't have to write the whole thing. Um, I would prefer if you have the kicker command, um, if you like, at the end. But what's important is that you get the general idea. Please just don't write a comment us um, suggesting the theory. I would like to see some actual um, commands written. But yes, um, you don't have to write the whole command because YouTube will mark you as spam. So that's all I have for this episode. This solution will be coming very, very soon, as well as an explanation and even a showcase um, because this is actually going to make it into the command mod packs and it's, it's very, very cool, very, very useful, I hope, to see people using it in the future. But for now, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.